Good morning, brethren. We welcome you to this week's daily encounter. We thank God it's a new month, the month of August, and it is my joy that the Lord has continued to preserve each one of us, and we continue to sit in his presence as we hear his word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for yet another new month. And Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. The Lord, you've led us through the months from January up to this point. Indeed, you are, you are Ebenezer. We thank you for your providence. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for the gift of salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. This week, brethren, we are going to take a short break from studying the men of the Bible because there is a very important activity happening in our nation next week, the general elections. And so our focus this week is on our nation. And today, we want to thank God for our nation. And we'll be reading a few scriptures uh, which will guide you as you continue praying uh, for this nation. So through our provost, we've been called to pray for our nation uh, this week and we'll be sharing on uh, various topics or on various issues that we'll be praying for every day. So today has been set aside for giving thanks for our nation. I want to take our, uh, a reading from Ezekiel chapter number 22 and verse 30, which says, I, I looked for a man among them who would build up the wall and start before me in the gap on behalf of the land, so I would not have to destroy it, but I have I found none. I looked for a man. God ha is looking for men and women to stand in the gap for our nation. So, brethren, today I call upon you to be that man and woman who will stand in the in the gap and call the Lord on behalf of our nation. And this day may our, our voices raise up unto God as we praise him for the great and mighty things that he continues to do in our nation. We focus on a few uh, psalms that are, we use as our point of reference of giving thanks. Uh, uh, psalms 105 verse 1, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. So we want to make it known to the nations what the Lord has done for our nation Kenya, for indeed he has done great and mighty things in our land. Uh, Psalms 117 verse 1 and 2 says, Praise the Lord all you nations, extol him all you peoples, for great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Indeed, we are counting the, the, the blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon our nation. His great faithfulness uh, from the time this country got it, it, its independence. Now we are counting more than 50 years in independence. And we want to thank the faithfulness of God that indeed he continues to lead us. Psalms 118 also says, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Verse 2 says, Let Israel say, His love endures forever. But today, brethren, I want us to change that verse and say, Let Kenya say, His love endures forever. We thank God for this beautiful country, which the Lord built with a lot of precision, the hills and the valleys, the rivers and the lakes and the seas, the mountains. We have so many resources. The wild animals are that even people from all over the, the world come to see so that they may glorify the beauty that is in this nation. And so we want to thank God for bestowing this great beauty that has made us to be known 
throughout the world. We want to thank God for the many athletics that he has given and uh, sportsmen and women who have made the, the, the name of this nation to be known all over the world. And we want to bless the name that he has given these resources of men and women who can go out there and represent our nation and bring back wealth. We thank God for the rich soils and uh, the, the minerals, the crops, the wild animals, all these resources that the Lord has given us. And that is why we need to extol his name and uh, uh, thank him for his great uh, faithfulness. We want to thank God for the peace that has continued to uh, endure in this nation. We have peace within the borders and even with our neighbors. And this is something to thank God for this day. And we want to thank God for the leadership of this nation that continues to see that this nation is at peace within and even with our neighbors. We want to thank the Lord for the leadership of the presidency. Remember, our nation is led by three arms of government, the presidency, the judiciary, and also the parliament. We want to thank God for the leadership of these three arms that they will continue to work in harmony. The presidency leading us and being the, or the executive uh, leading us and guide, giving guidance even to the rest of the arms of government and that the judiciary and parliament working in harmony with the presidency to ensure that we enjoy our peace and liberty in our nation. We want to thank God even for the freedom of worship that the churches or uh, whatever uh, faiths that are here, people are able to worship without any uh, interference. We want to thank God for the culture, uh, cultural diversity in this nation. We have more than 42 tribes and we are able to enjoy each other's uh, presence and even the rich uh, cultures that are within uh, the, the more than 42 tribes in this nation. We want to thank God that he has been able to help us to have, you uh, to live as brothers and sisters, though we speak many languages, but the Lord has continued to guide us and to bind us together. We want to thank God for the economy of this nation. Indeed, we have made uh, various strides that even in the midst of a pandemic, God has been with us. So we want to thank God for the health sector, that even during the uh, corona uh, pandemic, they lost up to their occasion. And we want to thank God, for indeed, brethren, we agree that it's not because of the resources that we had, but it's just by the masses of God. We know that other nations really suffered so much during the corona pandemic. But as the Lord preserved us, though we lost a few of our beloved, we know that it could have been worse. We thank God, but he saw us through and he has healed our land. And we really want to be very, very grateful to God for even uh, guiding the medical uh, professionals to get the vaccine. We want to thank God uh, for that. We want to thank God for the finance sector, that people have continued to do their businesses and they have continued to uh, prosper. We want to thank God for the agricultural sector. The Lord, the Lord has given us rains as um, we read um, in Psalms 144, that he is the one who gives uh, rain and he also provides uh, for, our, uh, for our animals. We want really uh, to thank God for his mercies and his uh, goodness. We want to thank God uh, for... Um, the housing sector, our people have housing, except maybe a few. Of course, we know there are few who are still desperate for a place to stay, to stay. But we want to thank God that majority of Kenyans have a place they can call home. And indeed, we want to thank God and continue to pray that even them that have nowhere to sleep, indeed, they can have a, a place to uh, stay. We want to thank God uh, for the security sector. Uh, Psalms 144 says, Praise be to the Lord my Lord who trains my heart for war, my fingers for battle. 
the he is my loving god and my fortress and my my stronghold and my deliverer knowing that it is not these men and women who work in this sector but it is our god who have uh, preserved us uh, Psalms 127 verse 1 say, says b says unless the lord watches over our city the watchmen start guard in vain so we acknowledge the presence of god with our security personnel the police our forces uh, the military the air force the anti uh, terrorist uh, sector the dci and nsi um, the navy all the sectors that are involved in the security of this nation we know were it not for the lord who was on our side would have been destroyed. So we want we want to thank God that even the times that the, the the our enemies have tried to infiltrate the borders of this nation, indeed the Lord has been our deliverer. So as uh, I wind up with the Psalms one forty seven, um, uh, says first one uh, says. Praise the Lord! How good it is to sing praises to our God. How present and fitting to praise him. So, uh, the Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exile and of uh, the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. We know there are people who are, are breeding or who are brokenhearted in our nation, but the Lord continues to heal them. Uh, Psalms 147, verse 8 and 9 says, he covers the sky with clouds, surprises the earth with rain, and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. So he continues even to feed our wildlife, our livestock. Indeed, God has been faithful. And finally, we want to thank God for the IBC, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries uh, Commission. We want to thank God for the that in the past they have carried out elections in this nation and we want to thank God that they are still in place to carry out the elections even this year. That the Lord may continue and strengthening them. It is not an easy task that the Lord will cover them, that the Lord will protect them even as they do this work at night and even during the day. That the Lord will be with them and that they will do their work with integrity and all of us that we are going to rise up in uh, and do our duty and vote. So may the Lord continue to strengthen us and even as we continue to thank God that he has done good for this nation. Having a working government, having a sitting president, having a working parliament, it is the hand of God. The name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom. Shalom.